Greetings metalheads, welcome to No Nonsense Metal Reviews. I'm George and today I am particularly excited because tomorrow, Saturday the 24th of August 2024, we are once again going to be del delivered an absolute treat of a festival. Stone Dead Festival, UK, from Newark, Newark-on-Trent, just outside of Nottingham is a rapidly becoming a absolute must in terms of UK festivals. So it's very simple arrangement. One day, although there is a sort of a warm up night on the Friday night, but the main event is one day, one stage. That's it. Plenty of stools, food, bars, drinks, all of that. But I went for the first time last year where it was headlined by Blue Oyster Cult and we also had Black Star Riders second on the bill there. So it was a good night had by many, many avid rock fans, heavy music fans. Small scale event, but this year they have increased the heaviness of their lineup. And really I am drawn by four acts that I am particularly excited about checking out tomorrow. Seems crazy to say it now, but if you are going, then if you see me, do say hi. But if you are going, then do make sure that you check out these bands. I'm, I'm sure that you probably will, considering that it's one stage and one day. But let's let's just run through what I'm looking forward to the most. So we've got UK new album newcomers. So they do sound very much like a traditional Nwobum band or a traditional heavy metal band, but Tail Gunner have been around for a few years now. And 2023, so last year, saw the release of their debut album, Guns For Hire, which is an excellent album. This is a, a fantastic album. I really dig this. I think they've got a really great thing going on. Really good vocals excellent kind of twin guitars going on there it's got all the hallmarks of new album you know think tigers of pantang think saxon think that kind of sound and tail gunner will be i think they're second on so they're around sort of midday 12 30 ish i think i remember seeing so i'm going to do my utmost to get there in time providing we manage to get through the turnstiles quickly enough should be there in time to see tail gunner Never seen them live before, but I have this album, Guns For Hire, on vinyl picture disc. There's actually a picture disc in here. And CD. And I freaking love them. I think they're a brilliant, brilliant band. A lot of potential there. So we've got a great band on early afternoon. Then we've got a few more bands that I will admit I'm not familiar with. Sort of hard rock or rock bands. Don't know too much about them, but yep, I'll, I'll watch that in between nipping to the bar and inevitably the toilet about a thousand times once the seal is broken. But then the next event that I really want to capture is Doro. We have Doro Pesh, the queen of metal, who I actually don't have any Al Doro albums. I don't have any of Doro's albums. More familiar with the Warlock material. Again, don't have that on CD or vinyl. So that's something I need to remedy, but Doro is a legend. She is featured on tour and on guest appearances with so many bands, everyone from Motorhead, through Tankard, through Amon and Marth, through, oh goodness, trying to think who else I saw she was guest featured on. Uh, did loads of stuff, absolutely loads of stuff. So many Motorhead live albums have featuring Doro, obviously on Killed by Death, where she might have been supporting, I don't know, but Doro is a legend and she's on the lineup, sort of late afternoon, early evening, and I think that'll be a solid set. So I'm looking forward to that. Never seen Doro before, but she is a legend and it's important that we pay homage to our legends. So very much looking forward to Doro after that. Then I think we've got another couple of bands. We've got Ugly Kid Joe, uh, which I'm not all that familiar with at all. Never heard the name, never really listened to. So that'll be interesting enough. But for me, it's about the next band on. So we've got KK's Priest. So we've got KK Downing, uh, one of the 
original guitar legends really in heavy music in terms of being part of a guitar duo so KK and Downing KK Downing and Glenn Tipton I should say of Judas Priest legendary duo their twin guitar work is thing of legend absolutely obviously KK is no longer with Judas Priest but okay whatever happened there He's put together his own band, KK's Priest. They've got two albums out to date. So we've got Sermons of the Sinner, which came out 2021. Very good album. Um, you know, there's a bit of a priest vibe there, owing to the fact that it's KK. But he's got a, a good band on vocals. We have Tim Ripper Owens, who, of course, was in Judas Priest for that strange period where Rob Halford was out of the band. And then we had... Um, Jugulator, I think it is, and Domination, or Damn, I don't even know. I will admit, I don't know those albums at all. But I like Ripper. I'm a fan of his work with Iced Earth, and he just appears with so many other bands. But he suits this lineup, KK's Priest. We've got The Sinner Rides Again, which came out in 2023. But of course, it's KK. That's the main focus. I want to see KK. I saw Judas Priest um, and Glenn Tipton did come out for a few tracks there um, when I saw Priest earlier this year on the Invincible Shield tour at Birmingham, the big arena, NEC, I think it was. Yeah, the bigger one of the two. So really enjoyed that. Fantastic show. Amazing. So I've seen Judas Priest and now I want to see KK's Priest. I want to see what KK and Tim Ripper Owens can give us in terms of solid heavy metal on stage at this <laughs> quite small scale, but honestly, fantastic array and fantastically organised and arranged festival. But of course, for me, it's all about the headliner. So when this festival, when Stone Dead Festival first announced their first run of bands for this year for 2024 they omitted the headliner until i think it was sort of april time this year so it was after the judas priest tour and because of that there was a lot of speculation that the headliner was going to be saxon i had my money on it being saxon because saxon have really been enjoying a a revival lately a lot of focus there's been a lot of focus for for more you know, avid fans of Saxon uh, and dedicated fans such as myself, I will say. I've been following Saxon for many years and even in the periods where maybe there's less focus on them and some of their albums, the diehards have been enjoying that and would argue that there was never a decline. I don't really think there is a decline. There's not a bad Saxon album, but regardless of that, Saxon have been really enjoying a... A lot of attention lately, owing to incredible albums like Sacrifice, Battering Ram, then we had um, Thunderbolt, amazing, Carpe Diem. Now we have Hellfire and Damnation, released January of this year. This is an amazing Saxon album, they're on fine form. There's been a little bit of a change in terms of uh, Paul Quinn is not performing live with the band anymore, but we do have Brian Tatler of Diamond Head instead. And that, in my opinion, is absolutely fine. That works. And he sounds fantastic on this album. So Brian does actually perform on the album as well. Sounds amazing. But all the speculation was that well, not all of it, but the majority of it was that it was going to be Saxon headlining. And we were right. I, I said it from the start. It's going to be Saxon. And it is. So what we get is we get Saxon, British heavy metal, the Wobbum Kings, headlining this very special, very, very good open air festival in Newark, just outside of Nottingham. What, what can we expect? Well, for me, I'm I'm hoping that we're going to be treated to some more tracks from Hellfire and Damnation. And my money is on the fact that we probably will get a few numbers from this. Certainly the title track. Maybe there's something in Roswell or Madame Guillotine. Some of those uh, singles and better known tracks. I'm suspecting that we're going to get 
a lot of classics. I'm, I'm expecting that we're going to obviously get Wheels of Steel. Maybe we're going to get Strong Arm of the Law. Maybe we're going to get Princess of the Night. All the classics, I can hear them time and time again. Absolutely love Saxon. Love Saxon so much. They're my favourite band. And this will be the seventh time that I've seen Saxon. And I can see them another seven. I will see them as many times as I can before they call it a day. But what I would really love is if they dug out some deep cuts. So we had some very good deep cuts on the Carpe Diem tour. We had, we were treated to uh, Metalheads. We were treated, the title track of that fantastic album. We were treated to, I think we might have had Dogs of War as well on that particular run. But we certainly had The Thin Red Line, which is an amazing track from Unleash the Beast. Then we had I've Got a Rock to Stay Alive. Amazing, some real deep cuts there. Even when I saw them opening up for Judas Priest earlier this year, they dug out Sacrifice again, which I love. Absolutely love that album, love that track. But what I would really love is some tracks to be dug out from maybe Into the Labyrinth or Lionheart, Killing Ground, some of those kind of power metal or, you know, less well-known years. I absolutely love those albums, those mentioned albums there. I absolutely adore those albums. And if they dug out some Battalions of Steel, like they did at Ramblin' Man Fair, can't remember the year, they were headlining the Friday nights of warm-up night of that year. Uh, and that was great. That was a solid lineup of Y&T, Graham Bonnet, Last in Line, Dio's former band, and Saxon headlining as well. But absolutely fantastic. So I'm really hoping that we get some deep cuts. But we've got an hour and a half headline Saxon set. Absolutely buzzing for that. So if you go in to Stone Dead, you're in for a treat. Do say hi. If you've never heard of Stone Dead, but you're here in the UK, make sure you check it out for next year because it's a sold out festival. It's sold out so quickly. But honestly, I have been to Donington, the Download Festival, I should say. I've been to um, Sonosphere. I've been to Ramblin' Man, British Summertime Festival, Vans Warp Tour. I've been to so many festivals over the years, but this is the best organized, the best arranged that I had ever been to to date. It was fantastic. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. And also, this will be the maiden voyage of my new patch jacket. So this is my new battle jacket, which I'll be showing off in more detail in a review shortly. But this will be the maiden voyage of this very thrash and heavy metal dominated jacket. So if you see this as well, you know it's me, say hi. So there you have it, my friends, Stone Dead Festival 2024, an amazing lineup, a very humble arrangement here, excellent festival. It was about £55 a ticket, which is nothing in today's market, let's face it. Saxon, KK's Priest, Doro, Tail Gunner, that's what I'm going for. If you're going, I'll see you down the bar. Check out these bands, check out this festival. Of course, do make sure you check back for the after action review. Of course, I'm going to be doing a full review of Stone Dead 2024 and my experiences there. So do check back soon for that. But until then, take care of yourselves and stay heavy.